As we understand, there's still some people underneath the ground here. In the words of a policeman, the way he spoke uh, indicates those people may not be alive anymore. We've seen emergency helicopters taken off again uh, a while ago. This may mean that some are heavily injured, badly injured people still being carried away. Um, as you said, 10 people, but no one is certain that this is the final death toll. This figure may rise because some of the people are badly wounded. And do we know how this accident happened? The, the authorities indicating that it, it is an accident and not any kind of attack. Yes, uh, we know that three coaches, three uh, uh, cars derailed, uh, so the passengers were flung against the walls. Uh, in the beginning, the authorities tried to explain this as a loss of a current or emergency braking. They stopped doing this now. They say, let's wait for the, for the investigation to tell us exactly what happened. So, yes, we know it's a crash. No one talks about terrorism or an explosion so far, but we don't know what caused this crash. And what are we learning about exactly how people have been able to, to get out? Because the train stopped with carriages in between stations, didn't it? Yes, I spoke to one man. He was at the front of the train. He was not injured. He said they spent almost an hour in the darkness without having any clue what's going on. Then, one by one, they were led through the train onto the tracks and then outside. The situation was very different for those who were in the, in the wreckage. Uh, the wreckage uh, was so badly accessible that the rescuers had to use some hydraulic equipment. And as we understand, they're still battling, trying to get access.